Welcome back to my channel. So today's hairstyle, I am so excited to do this because it's a hairstyle that I have been trying to do or I've been wanting to do for a really long time, but I never thought that I'd be able to do it because I didn't know how to do feed in braids. So I was like, I'm gonna have to pay somebody to do this, but y'all don't worry, I got you. This is for my beginner girls out there. It's much easier than it looks. So I'm going to kind of be in detail, as much detail as I can to show you guys how I did this little two feet in pigtail braid ponytail ponytail style or whatever so you just want to go ahead and split your hair in half I washed and deep conditioned it the night before and I just put it in these two twists to kind of stretch my hair about a little bit and let it air dry this is me hoping I got the part nice and straight I'm like child I don't know I was living on a prayer but it looks fine to me so put that side away we're gonna work on the first side I'm using eco styler gel and I'm just gonna spray my hair with a little bit of water because I hate working on like completely dry hair. I need my hair to be a little bit damp so we can, you know, get the party started. So just a little bit of gel is gonna go a long way. I didn't really have a choice because there's not much gel left in there. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of gel to smooth my hair down. Now, I think it's really important that you get your hair as smooth as possible. So if your hair is thicker than mine, I suggest like splitting that subsection, subsection in half, like pasting down the back part and then pasting the front down and and adding the two sections together because you want to make sure it's as flat as possible. So I use my Tanger teaser brush and then my hard bristle brush to make sure, you know, we coordinated to get the roots nice and flat. I also went in, as you can see, with my She Is Bomb edge control. This is my favorite edge control, ladies, for the type four girls. Even though you guys always cringe when I say type four. I don't have time for the argument. I don't have time. But yes, um, where am I? Yeah, so here we are. Um, I pulled out some little side pieces. You don't have to do this, but I think it came out really cute to wear the end, so I just pulled those out. Something I do wanna mention with this hairstyle is that you wanna make sure you're putting your pigtails nice and low, because if you put them too high, it looks a little funny. The hair kinda sticks out and you kinda look childish. It's already a little bit of a childish hairstyle if you don't do it right, so you wanna make sure you put the, put the pigtails low enough, unless you're going for a higher type of look, do your thing. But if you're going for something subtle and just cute and kind of sexy, but not like, girl, we're 12, make sure they're low enough, okay? So now we're heading on to the fun part. Like I said, I don't like working on dry hair, so I sprayed it with some water, and I'm just gonna detangle it. It's also very important that you detangle the puff part, especially if you're not doing it on blow-dried hair. This way that um, it'll match better with the braiding hair that we picked up. So I'm doing that to both sides and then I'm just going to twist them up um, just to make sure they don't get retangled. So this is the hair I'm using. It's Expression Ghana 3X Pre-Stretched Hair. I only use one pack and it's actually $4 for this. I'll leave a link in the description box, but we're gonna switch it up for a second. Okay, honestly, I was gonna go the voiceover route, but like, I feel like I have so many thoughts in my head while I'm posting this, or like while I'm recording this video. So I'm just like, you know what? The reason why I was gonna do voiceover is because I don't even know if my mic is plugged in. Anyway, okay, yes. Oh, okay, sure. So I guess we'll start with this one. The reason why I wanted to do a voiceover is because I need a new mic, because I know like my sound quality kind of sucks and I'm kind of embarrassed. Um, but I just haven't bought it yet because like two weeks ago, I was looking on Amazon and it said the mic was gonna take a week to get here. And I was like, no, that's too long. I'm gonna go get it myself. And then it's now it's two weeks and I haven't gotten it. I should've just got it online. <laughs> Anyways, so y'all saw the hair I was using. Three bundles come in there, but I'm just gonna use two starting off right now. Yeah, I've been gone for a while. <sighs> Child, when I give y'all that update, <laughs> we gonna praise dance, okay? I also wanna state, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I've actually never done this before. So we're learning together. I have watched a few tutorials though. So that's just what we do. I'm not teaching y'all nothing new. I'm just showing y'all how I do it. Okay, so y'all, you don't really need one of these, but this is just gonna help me stay a lot more organized. So I'm gonna split my hair and put it onto this rack back here. 
All right, so this is about how much I have. I have like the whole top row and then I have like two down here on the bottom. So I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them, but I just wanted to be prepared. Maybe I'll need more, who knows? We're just gonna figure this out together. So I brush my hair out. I'm gonna wet it just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of gel on my hair. And when I say a little bit, that I mean it, because there's really nothing left in here. So, we're gonna split our hair into three pieces like so. Three nice, even pieces. As even as you can get it. Just like you're about to just do a braid. So I'm gonna start off doing a braid with my hair. One little scoop. Y'all see that? Just one. Now, all right, so I split all the hair into like medium sections. Now, if you look at the back of my hair, hope you can see, there's a piece here, a piece in between my pointer finger and my middle finger, and then a piece on the side. I'm always gonna put the piece, I hope you guys can see, I'm always gonna put the piece, I believe, in the middle. The piece that's in the middle of my pointer finger and my middle finger. So I'm gonna put it right, I hope y'all can see, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay? So now, these two pieces are together and I'm just going to braid it in. I hope that makes sense. So we're gonna do it again. Try it from the front this time. So there's a piece by itself. There's a piece in the middle between my middle finger and my pointer finger. And then there's a piece over here. I'm gonna add it to the middle piece and then stretch it between those two Make sure it's tight, and then add it into the braid. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? I don't know if y'all picking it up. Is y'all picking it up? Basically, it's always gonna go in the middle piece. Now, I will say I should've probably did the first braid off camera, so I can make sure that I know what I'm doing. But it feels right. I'm just always adding it to the middle. Not it coming out good. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm done adding pieces for now. It's a little thick. Actually, one more piece in this middle piece here. Adding it to the middle, middle piece. That's it. And then just keep on braiding like nothing happened. What happened? Something happened? No, nothing happened over here. Keep on going down. Wow, this is gonna be so cute. I'm excited. And then as you get lower, you wanna braid a little less tight because now you don't have your natural hair to thicken the bottom. And I don't wanna add any more pieces because now it's gonna just keep getting too long. So I'm just gonna braid less tight toward the bottom so that the thickness is pretty much the same. I love how I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about because baby, it's my first time doing this. So here's a little close up of the first go around. Okay, she's a little bulky right here, but it's okay because for the most part, she's a good looker. Let's try again with the other side, but first I'm gonna add a few more pieces so that I don't have to stop while I'm going. All right, so let's try this again. I hope the first explanation made sense, but I'm not sure, so we gonna run it back. So I'm just gonna spray my natural hair with water and then brush it out again. Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna go back to, I think we're gonna go back to voiceover really quick. Just because I really feel like the sound quality is probably not good, and I don't want to do that to y'all, so. Voice over. All right, so I hope that made sense. Also, you guys, let me know in the comments if you prefer voiceovers or if you prefer like real life, you know, speaking in real time or whatever. But I want to explain this again one more time. So you're gonna start off as you're doing a regular braid, your three sections, and then if you don't know how to do a braid, watch another video first because you're gonna need to know. So you want to do a regular braid first, okay? And then as for me, I always put the braiding hair in between my middle finger and my pointer finger with the middle piece of the braid. For me, I always put it in the middle. Everyone might braid differently, but for me, I just always put it in the middle. It's consistent and it ends up being pretty um, even. It makes the pieces look pretty even when I always put it in the middle piece, especially since they're always, the middle piece is always changing. So I just think it works out well. So I'm just putting it between my, as you can see, middle finger and pointer finger. Put the hair right there and then just continue to braid as if nothing happened. You're literally, all you're doing 
is adding hair in. You don't have to do anything special or anything different. And I promise if you're doing it while you're watching a tutorial, I feel like it's gonna make so much more sense. I feel like it sounds a lot more complicated if you're not in the act of practicing while you're watching someone else do it or while you're listening to someone explain. But for me, I just feel like if you do it while someone is showing you how to do it, your fingers eventually get the motion of how to do it and it just becomes so natural. It just feels natural to do. So that's all I'm gonna be doing. I really hope that it made sense because I watch so many tutorials and everyone's like, this is not a tutorial. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the pieces and I'm like, well, where is the tutorial? Because I really wanna learn how to do this. So after watching like six tutorials, I put them all together and figured out how to do it. So I really hope that made sense you guys and like I said as I get to the bottom I try not to braid as tight because I want the top and the bottom to kind of have the same thickness But of course when you get to the very bottom It's gonna be thinner because that's just how a natural braid is supposed to look so I'm using my BB curl foam setting foam <laughs> and putting it on the braids to just kind of tame any of the flyaways you may have to do a little trimming of the edges of the braids to make sure like not too much of the braiding hair is trying to fly away and make you look crazy but I just went ahead and just smushed it into the braid just to give it um, a nice finish. So here are the ends of my braid. For me, they're a little too long and a little too thin looking. So I'm going to cut them at a place where I feel like the thickness is nice and like a good size for me. I'm not going to dip the hair, but I am going to put some hair bands or some hair ties at the end. Um, but this hair, it's nice and thick, so it doesn't look um, stiff and like with no movement or anything. So there wasn't much need to dip the ends in hot water or anything like that. Anyway, so we're all set. Just a nice little trim or it's a nice little cut, an even cut. Also to make sure it's not too long and then um, just tying it up with the hair tie. It did just fine for me. I don't need nothing extra. So now my hair should be nice and flat and laid thanks to our handy dandy scarf. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, she is bomb edge control. I already spoke about this earlier. It's my favorite. I'll leave the link in the description box just to give my edges a little bit more of a sharper look. And then I'm also going to put it on my little puff pieces at the side of my ear. I think they're called tendrils or something like that. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. One thing I do want to say is that this hairstyle is not long lasting. Okay. You may have to do it over a few times in the week if you want to have it for a long time. But it is cute, so we're gonna go with that. We're gonna do a little transition for you in uh, three, two, one. Come on, uh, she's cute, she is cute. I really love this hairstyle. It's super simple, it's super easy, and it's very affordable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love y'all so much, and I will see you in my next, oh, come on, scarf. Come on, hair scarf. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. There's only one, it's only one